All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Ruin Well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is the Peace of Zion. I'm back again with another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And uh, <clears throat> as you can see here on the screen, um, we're going to be dealing with uh, you know th these protests and uproars of the people. Um, which is uh, happening more and more across the globe. What I have here is an article from The Guardian. Um, this is TheGuardian.com. And uh, this is from Liberia. It says, protests in Liberia over George Weah's failure to tackle corruption. It says, ex-footballer under pressure, 18 months into presidency, as thousands take to the streets. Okay, so you have a... A, uh, a, a um another another uh account as you can see or another report of these people um here in Africa you know mainly the west coast of Africa right now um going going against uh their government leaders all right it's happened in um Sudan it's happened in the Congo it's happening in um um other places uh, you know other countries there in um in um in Africa and Libya, okay, in uh Sierra Leone, all right, and this is all uh, you know biblical prophecy that was spoken about in the scriptures. Okay? So let me go ahead and get that that prophecy here. So this is the book of Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, uh and I'll start at verse one. It says, He answered me then and said Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So the Heavenly Father is beginning to visit this world, man. The Creator himself, all right, who the world ignorantly calls God, all right, the uh, supreme being, you know, the supreme power, the Creator, all right, whose true name is Yahweh, is beginning to visit the earth, man. Okay? It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, all right? And I just put up a video, uh, both my channels, um, um, about these earthquakes uh, from this guy, uh, Dabu7. All right? He went into the earthquakes that's been happening in uh, uh, California, in Los Angeles, and it was over 700 earthquakes. Okay, so it says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world. Now, what you're seeing here with these protests against the government, right? This is an uproar of the people. The people are making noise. Okay, they have something to say. All right. Okay. And they're not necessarily saying it in a, a nice tone. All right. So this is an example of upwards of the people. All right. So once again, it says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So this is prophecy. That the fact that it says that the Lord spake these things from before us, all right? Meaning that this is a prophecy that is manifesting itself now. It says, for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The end of this world is manifest. Not the end of the planet Earth, but the end of the world that is ruled by the wicked. Okay? Okay? The end of the world that is ruled by the wicked. Because what are these people protesting? What are they uproaring for? The corruption that's going on in the government, which only a wicked person would do. Okay? All right, now you have these uh, Africans in, in office, but they're set up by who? They're set up by the wicked, all right? Which is Esau, Edom, all right? The so-called white man. So this is what's going on in Liberia. Now, in the article, it says thousands of people have gathered in Liberia's capital to protest against failures to tackle corruption, economic mis uh, mismanagement, and injustice under the former footballer turned President George Weah. Uh, riot police line the streets of Monrovia. Now, Monrovia is a country that was um, 
a city that was created in West Africa um, after the president um, uh, Monroe here in America. And you had certain uh, uh, Israelites, all right, I, I keep saying Africans, Israelites went back over there um, to that, that uh, to Monrovia, all right, during the 1900s, okay? So that's where, where Monrovia comes from. That's the history, all right? It says, now riot police lined the streets of Monrovia where more than 5,000 people turned out despite the rain for one of the city's biggest protests in living memory, according to witnesses. The protesters walked to Capitol Hill to present the government with the list of demands. All right. Um, so this is what you see. OK, now I'm going to get another scripture. Now, this is uh, from the same book, second letters, the 15th chapter. All right, and I bring this out all the time, you know, when these things happen, because these are the things that's coming upon the earth now. So this is Second Edges 15 and uh, 18. It says, "For because, for because, matter of fact, let me go up. All right, I'll start at yeah, um, 14. It says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, because this is the end of the world." All right, the end of this society. It says, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. This is why you're seeing people with guns, uh, which uh, I have a particular article on that. I'm going to get, you know, guns, weapons, you know, throwing Molotov cocktails. You know, these protests, these riots, okay? Um, you know, killing one another. All right. It says, for there shall be sedition among men. Sedition is what you know as an uprising or like a revolution. OK. Or what is the start of a revolution, so to speak. It says, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. OK. So when you're seeing that these people are rising up and they're coming against the government for corruption, and that they have a list of demands, this is that prophecy coming to pass now. Now we see it, all right? We see the earthquakes, okay? You hear the toss of wars, World War III, nuclear war. We're in the time of the end, all right? Now there's another article, um, right? Now this is from uh, uh, the uh, Zimbabwe Independent, Okay? Which it says, police buy 4,000 AKs, sniper rifles, for riots. Okay? It says, <laughs> police have acquired an assortment of weapons, including three, uh, let me see here. Yeah, 3,343 AK-47 assault rifles and about 600 sniper rifles. As they prepare to quell looming street protests against President Emerson um, Nangagwa's government over the fast deteriorating political and socio-economic conditions. This is in Zimbabwe. So th the last one was in Monrovia and Liberia and this here is in Zimbabwe. Alright? It says the arms acquisitions and police paramilitary retraining activities demonstrate government's growing fears of looming civil unrest and riots which could rock the Mingwagwa regime to its foundations and throw the country into turmoil. Security forces are on high alert to guard against a potential popular uprising due to government's failures to fix the economy and social service delivery. And guess what? We see the same thing in uh, um, uh, Venezuela. We see the same things, you know, in South America. We see the same things um, um, going on in uh, the Middle East. Same things going on in Europe, like Greece. The uh, socio-economic structure is crumbling, and that's the end. And and that's the end of the society, okay? Because it's ultimately the white man, the white race, and this governments that are ruling over these um these um uh, uh political powers around the world. It's their power structure, okay? Which they are the Edomites, according to the Bible. They are Esau. All right, so their war has to come to an end. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna read this scripture, Second Edges 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, 
and one people shall stand up and fight against another, right? And swords in their hands. That these governments, okay, with these weapons or these people with these weapons. You see, look, the, you know the gun, the AK-47, you know the sniper rifles, the pistol, all right. Uh, uh, the you know uh, nuclear missiles and rockets. All these are modern day um, um, modernized swords because a sword is meant for destruction. The same way a gun is meant for destruction. You don't heal anybody by shooting a gun. You don't save anybody's life by shooting a gun into their body. All right. You can save someone's life by shooting a bullet at someone to stop them or kill them, but it doesn't that it doesn't save their life. All right. Um, by that particular weapon. So this is a sword, man. Okay? Alright? And you can see it, the sword's in their hands. So we are in the time of these prophecies taking place, man. And we're giving, getting ever closer to the end. Alright? Now I'm going to end off on one more scripture. Right? Matter of fact, <laughs> same book. The book is Second Ezra, the 6th chapter. Right? And I'm going to get straight to the point. This is verse 9. It says, For Esau is the end of the world. So the end of this world is, is going to come through Esau, which proves that, that Esau will have to be the so-called white man and his governmental powers, whether it be the West, whether it be the East with Russia, okay, and, the, you know, all these other countries they rule over, certain countries in Europe, so, you know, certain countries in uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Africa, you know, you know, where they have these central banks and these leaders, all right, Australia, all of them are ruled by the power structure and the governmental structure, all right, through these central banks, through the, you know, the petrodollar, all right, or through just plain uh, 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 occupation, it's all ruled by Esau, okay, you learn that in history, okay, you know, the different, um, 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 countries by the, you know, you know, uh, uh, the different uh, conquerings by Spain, which conquistador is white people, Britain, white people, America, white people. All right. That's Esau in the Bible. So we're seeing the end of the world that he conquered and is ruling over currently. But it also says in Jacob, it's the beginning of it that followed. And that's you so-called black Spans and Native Americans. You are going to eventually begin the new world once this world crumbles and it's crumbling right before our eyes. All right, because you are the Israelites. Okay, but uh, with that, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to say Shalom.